sector among different institutions. As the seventh annual researchers' conference kicks off, he has urged commercial banks and policy heads to develop a responsible market culture that will save the country from such crises where the cost of living is extremely high. KTN's Julio Ino has more. The dynamics continue to change in the country following enactment of the 2018 Finance Act by President Uhuru Kenyatta. With a push to raise more taxes, the state has been given on a charm offensive to use all avenues to load taxes on the common man, all for meeting the ever-expanding budget. But with an insatiable appetite for debt, the economy has been exposed to various risks such as corruption and poor mismanagement of public resources. CBK Governor Dr. Patrick Jaroge feels that proper ethics in government is lacking, making the local Inchi, the victim of the financial crisis in the country. This conduct happens first and laws are passed later. As we have seen elsewhere, innovation generally goes ahead of regulation. So innovation in bad things. There is therefore need for something else besides a set of rules to control the behavior of people and institutions. We need to understand and pursue ethical values. As the seventh annual researchers conference kicked off, Dr. Njoroge asked the bankers and policy heads to create safeguard measures considering responsible market culture, transparency and compliance to avoid financial risk. Sector players are to adopt the use of fintech in the banking sector as technology continues to disrupt traditional models. Currently, technology is considered as a panacea of hope in the banking sector. We have to rethink about the different model of providing credit access to areas where perhaps penetration has been very low, away from the traditional 30, 50 year history where we are looking for uh, some kind of stimulus for those industries. Kenya Bankers CEO Habil Okaka says the use of technology comes as a priority in tightening checks and balances as well as enhancing service delivery. A platform to evaluate the impact of the rising use of technology in promoting both operational efficiency and effective service delivery. And as the Bankers Forum continues, the call to strengthen governance and step up transparency remains a critical subject for the industry which remains vulnerable to cybercrime and internal collusion. Julie Owino, KTN News. Kenya is ranked the ninth top tourist destination in sub-Saharan Africa, receiving only 3% of the 40 million international tourists who visit this part of the continent. And as KTN's Abu Bakr Abdullahi reports, the tourism sector is being challenged to employ the use of technology to attract more tourists. As the world marked Tourism Day 2018 in Budapest, it was a moment of self-introspection for the country's tourism sector and stakeholders. The way consumers are working and really looking at um, visiting different places, one of the most critical things is that they want to look at online places to get inspiration. We need to invest heavily on product development. We cannot be too comfortable and say, oh, we have the beaches, or we have the safari, and we manage safari the same way we used to manage them in 1960s and 1970s. It doesn't take. We are managing our beaches, and the beach hotels that we have are in the 1980s. It's not going to fly. The significance of digital technology in tourism was at the heart of this year's celebrations. Kenya attracts close to 13 million online searchers, with four million searchings done from Kenya. The kind of communications and the kind of information that we're able to share today is so significant and so impactful. You can now share videos, you can share moments, many things, and, and I think that's going to drive tourism. Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala notes that setting up a modernized outfit to promote both the country and the continent's image is up on his to-do list. We as African ministers, are committed to establish this African tourism organization so that we can be able to put the positive messages of Africa to, 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 the, to, to, the, to the to the clientele over all over the world. The sector's ranking, however, placed the country below Uganda, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. A harsh indictment on the country's tourism board to grow the numbers. The challenge staring at the tourism sector now remains on how to convince digital users to travel more 
and visit more. Abu Bakr Abdullahi for KTN News. In other news, public schools in dry areas of the county of Kilifi have benefited from a water tank program to enable them to have access to clean water and improve sanitation in the institutions. Six 5,000 litre tanks were donated to the public schools as well as health facilities who are in need, which are in need of water storage facilities. According to the Kilifi Deputy Governor, Gideon Saburi, the county government's vision is to ensure that every community member in Kilifi has access to clean water and that the government has already acquired water rig machines and it's in the process of drilling boreholes across the county. <laughs> Lazima tuyalinde, lazima tuwakikishe ya kwamba tumeletewa kitu cha thamani. Matangi haya garama yake kwa jumla yote nimefahamisho kwamba pesa iliotumika inakaribia milioni 3.5 million shillings.